Hello outlaws and hello campers. It's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Or, you know, if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. And uh, if it is your first time here, just hit that subscribe button because it don't cost nothing. Now, as you can see, guys, I am not in the bowels of the suburbs of central New York. For once, I'm actually here inside the blue line of New York State's Adirondack Park. Uh, this is Pasico Lake, more specifically Higgins Bay. Uh, the girlfriend and I are up here for a few days. Um, we're going to hang out. We're going to do some, you know, kind of camping. I might do some real camping. You know, we'll see what happens. Everything's pretty much up in the air. It's, uh, it's about 2 o'clock. Uh, today is a Thursday, and it's a beautiful 72 degrees. Um, it is still summer. We still got probably two weeks left of summer, but um, you know, you can see fall is uh, it's it's thinking about coming. Um, yes, that's an island, which hopefully we'll be featuring um, in future episodes of this series. Uh, over there, that's a uh, Panther Mountain, uh, which I will not be climbing. I am not a mountain climber. Um, guys, seriously, it's been a long time since I've been up here. Probably about two years. Um, maybe a little less, but close enough to two years. So I'm just going to kind of give a little walk around, a little tour, some hints of what's going to be coming up in the series. Um, but, you know, first thing is first, guys, we're going to have a beer. Uh, the girlfriend's down here at the beach. So we're going to take a walk over there and see how she's doing before I continue on with this ridiculousness. See, I told you the girlfriend was here. Uh, it's a nice day, guys. It's beautiful. Um, before I really get into it, I want to thank uh, Bob and Nancy, girlfriend's parents, for letting us come up here for a few days uh, to stay and hang out at uh, Camp Nancy, which is up there. You guys will see more of it. Um, yeah, man. I'm going to get down to the beach, check on the girlfriend, and then probably head over to Desolation Dock finally get into this beer how's the beach <laughs> oh look there's some uh some garments here for you sunglasses yeah i saw some underwear up there before so that's how i knew we were in the adirondacks shitty underwear just you know laying somewhere near a beach it's nice so you got it all to yourself yep. yeah why was there's a little sandbar there in the middle of the swimming area oh man yeah <laughs> if all you got is what you got that's all you got okay before the beer uh the girlfriend she's gonna don't worry it's cold guys and yeah i scored a new uh koozie Kirk charlie john's koozie big enough to hold a regular size beer um she's gonna come check out the water here See, she's moving pretty good now, guys. Um, I'm not. I think you are. Well, it hurts. Yeah. If anybody's had a knee or an ankle replacement or an ankle fusion, please comment below. Yes, let us know down in the comments how that worked out for you. Because the girlfriend's looking at one of those. Or one or the other. I don't know, ankle replacement, ankle fusion. Wow, um, it's pretty shallow, huh? Is it cold? Yeah, I, I figured. Um, I'm not garbed suitably for this. I'm going to uh, unzip off these zip off pants and then I'm gonna go out there and join her. I'm gonna put my beer over here at Desolation Dock though. Um, yeah, right in the sun. Oh man. I guess Desolation Dock's a good place to set out from. This is featured in pretty much every video that I've ever done while I was up here. Um, so this is where we're going to kick it off. Wow! <laughs> you, yeah. Is my boat going to be able to make it? 
<coughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there's a boat, guys. Wait till you see this thing. Um, and no, it's not the Seahawk 2, which you've seen before. It's even better. Um, but stay tuned. I, I don't want to ruin that the surprise for you. Oh yeah, the worms. Shut up. Yeah, girlfriend hates worms. Just earthworms. Just earthworms. Not not sea worms. She's fine with sea worms. It's really shallow, guys. I don't know how this is coming out. If you could see any of this, I of course could see it all thanks to my polarized sunglasses. I haven't pimped those in a while. I'll tell you, it's quiet, which is nice. It's a beautiful day. Tomorrow's supposed to be beautiful as well. I'm sure the horrible Adirondack uh, weather will move in, you know, in time for the weekend. At least uh, Captain Hornswoggle has finished mowing the lawns around here. So, yeah, that was great. As soon as we show up, he's just like, I gotta get out the old lawnmower, mow the lawn. So, you guys feel at home. It's just like being at home. Yeah, it's, see? So I said, oh, look, shallow water, no diving. Yeah. No shit. All right, let me get uh, more suitably garbed. All summer in the suburbs where you couldn't hear somebody's friggin' lawnmower going. Uh, yeah, you're and right. Once I fixated on it, it just got worse and worse and worse. And then we came here and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is as close to the wilderness as we're gonna get for today. But, um, okay, we're gonna get more suitably garbed. Water, water's not that cold. Of course, it's only about two, two and a half inches deep. Yeah, I will. I got beer to drink before that gets warm. Yeah, I get stuck in the mucky muck here. All right, beer time. So, all right, guys. Um, of course, I forgot my lighter pack up at uh, Camp Nancy. Um, do not forget my cigarettes though. Luckily the girlfriend had a lighter. I'm gonna have to remedy that situation, but after we get into this beer, we gotta head up there anyway, because I figure I should just break out all the ridiculousness right in this episode, just so you guys know what's coming up. But this is an Outlaw Camper video, and you guys know what time it is. I already mentioned I went to uh, Charlie John's in uh, Speculator. Uh, now we're in uh, Pasico, New York. Um, you know, you guys, you're already on the internet. You know how the internet works. You can like Google all these places if you want to. I'm not, you know, I'm just here because this is vacation. I'm here to have some fun. I'm here to entertain you. I'm, I'm really not here to educate anyone. Um, but anyway, um, so we went into Speculator um, when we got here. We've been here a couple hours. Um, and uh, we went and got some firewood. Uh, oh, we got wood. Um, and we went to uh, Charlie John's, my favorite grocery store in the world. Uh, picked up this koozie, picked up some beers. Uh, we hit Mountain Market and Speculator. Uh, swung by the camp store by uh, Moff Beach. Um, you guys will see a lot more of this stuff. Anyway, okay, less talking, more drinking. What I got is uh, one of my favorite camping beers. Not my favorite camping beer although i do have some of that i was lucky enough to find some uh, this is uh northway brewing perfect day pilsner you guys have seen this before but here we go guys before it gets piss warm and flat if you know what i say about that first of the day fellas oh yeah oh we got a little foam up there Just blow that shit off the top like tom fermanski <sighs> yeah well whatever okay so first of the day Bob and Nancy. Mm. Yeah, it's good, man. And it's only 4.9, so I'm not going to get too wrecked. Go ahead and, uh, you know, invite more of a nautical disaster than I'm about to. Yeah. It's good to be back in the Adirondacks. Mmm, this is good beer. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna steal anything. Hey, there's no one here, <laughs> which is fucking amazing. Um, leaving Desolation Dock to head back up to Camp Nancy. Um, because 
got to get my boat and I've got to get it down here and I have to make sure that the thing floats because this is actually going to be um, the maiden voyage of the Seahawk 3 which does not have a name yet but it might oh look at this this is new yeah it's like a solar fountain Oh well, it was used to be like a little, like a stream, like a ditch that ran down to the lake. Cause that bridge was always there. This is really nice. I'm guessing this is probably like a frog pond or something. I don't know, man. You guys know I love frogs, man. They're good eating. But don't worry, I'm, if I find any, I'm not gonna be getting any frogs and eating them because uh, I do not have a fishing license, which. I believe you need in order to gig frogs at least in New York State but yeah this is pretty nice it's new um, some geese statues um, yeah and heading up here to Camp Nancy yes those are uh, paddle boards um, if you guys think I'm getting on one of those well this is definitely your first time here because uh, you know there, there's a line that has to be drawn between the ridiculous and just the, uh, and you know, like stupidity. And me getting on one of those things would be sheer and utter stupidity. <sighs> I'm so glad no one's here, this is great. Um, I haven't mentioned though, this is a Thursday, so we'll see what happens tomorrow for the weekend. Um, bathroom facilities, which are very nice. Believe it or not, I'll show you later. There's some Outlaw Camper stickers in there have been there well over two years which is amazing okay guys uh this is it what you're seeing here for the first time ever is the uh intax seahawk 3 you guys all know i had a seahawk 2 i still have it um now this uh <laughs> this vessel <laughs> craft whatever you want to call it um, I actually got this about oh well well over a year ago and it's been sitting in this box down in my basement uh, since I got it um, I had actually gotten it for a uh, since failed uh, aborted it just it didn't happen a uh, fall last fall trip to the Adirondacks uh, maybe I'll get into that later but probably not uh, anyway um, I wanted to uh, have a little bit of a bigger boat in order to bring, be able to bring some more stuff um, so I could do some, like, I don't know, boat camping, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did not realize that this thing was going to be this big. <laughs> um, it didn't really take me that long to blow it up. I used the old uh, Coleman air pump. Luckily, we have electricity here. Um, I mean, I did bring the inverter. So I could have hooked that, uh, that up to the car, blown it up that way. Um, although I did not bring an extension cord, so that's why it's right here because that's the nearest outlet right there. Um, but it's blown up as far as I can tell. Uh, I got the oars on here. Uh, I've got the oar locks uh, things in my pocket. I'm gonna drag this sucker down there and uh, we're gonna see if it floats. So, <laughs> I don't know guys wish me luck um, hopefully I won't need it um, I mean I, ha I never had a problem with the Seahawk 2 and I abused the fuck out of that thing and this is brand new I mean technically so it should float um, we're gonna find out um, I do have a life jacket though which I'm gonna bring with me uh, I'm not gonna go too far just like I said just want to check out make sure it floats so let's see what happens guys and hopefully it, this will end up being something pretty epic in the future. Oh, look at this. She got food? Yeah. Yeah, see, we're not complete savages. Ooh, look at that. Got some, some turkey sliders there, some grapes, half-eaten cookie. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, moving on. All right, I got it through the, you know, um, structures. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what I got bringing with me. Um, surprisingly, it's really, it's not that heavy. Or, yeah, I guess it is. It's a lot heavier than the Seahawk, too. 
Um, I just want to get out here in the Higgins Bay, out on Lake Pasico. And, you know, like I said, see if this thing's going to float. It's also, it's full of whatever this, like, tree debris is. But I don't really care. It's nature. Uh, there's a girlfriend over there eating. She's doing her best to ignore me. That's love. I mean, yeah. So, this is pretty much where I put in last time I was up here with the Seahawk 2. Uh, that doesn't look good. Um, I'd say I don't really want to drag my boat through it and then drag whatever this is into the lake. But it's flowing into the lake anyway. Oh, look, some more shitty underwear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. The mucky muck. Well, okay, it's not bad. I'm getting in the water. Let's see if this thing floats. All right, guys. This is a great sign. It floats. Uh, granted, I'm not in it, and I'm getting mud sucked here, but um, I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to walk out here before I get in. And I got to navigate through this you know, um, graveyard of boats. Oh boy, as this thing blows away. Of course, here comes the wind, guys. <laughs> yes, wherever I go, from the bowels of the suburbs of central New York to the great New York State Adirondack Park, the wind is my enemy. Well, <clears throat> yeah, guys, uh, as you get out a little further, I mean, granted, I'm only up to probably <laughs> half shin. Uh, it does get a little cooler. Uh, I'm still trying to navigate through this mess. I'm thinking that this looks like... You now, there's a buoy tied to a cinder block. I'm thinking this looks like the path of uh, least resistance. <coughs> um, my goal is to just kind of swing around this island here. Because, yes, another spoiler... Um, if you guys didn't see my um, Labor Day weekend show series, which is probably about two years old now, but I will pull it, put a link to that down in the description. Um, that was pretty much the last time I was up here at Camp Nancy, Higgins Bay, Seco Lake. Um, I went and I, I scoped the fuck out of this island, checked it out. Thought I'd get back up here within a couple weeks to uh, camp on it. And well, guys, now it's a little more than two years later but um i'm gonna i'm gonna swing around it see what it looks like um you know that's that's really about all i want to say right now um anyway uh i threw some cordage onto the front of the boat here uh, i got the oars all set up which are far superior to the seahawk two oars um i have my life jacket with me um some more cordage uh a grappling hook because i don't see how a grappling hook cannot ever come in handy and of course i got a couple of beers in that cooler but we got to get in this boat guys and we got to get out on the water so i'm gonna just kind of swing up here see if i can do this yeah okay it's getting up to my pants so i think that means it's time to get in the boat well guys I made it into the boat. Uh, it really wasn't that difficult. Um, lucky for me, nature is just sort of pushing me over into the direction that I actually want to be going in. Uh, the girlfriend's over there. Ahoy! Yeah, see, she's waving. I don't know if that'll come out. Um, it's been quite some time, guys, since I've uh, actually been in one of these boats. So, working this is going to be a little sketchy at first. Um, I'll tell you, yeah, I know, it's pretty shaky. Going through some lily pads here. I'll turn you around in a minute. just want to get out onto more open water. So far, great success. Seahawk 3. There's so much fucking room in this boat. This is insane. This is more boat than I need. Oh, 
Here comes the girlfriend showing off how far she can walk out in the water. Boat's pretty much a success. What? Boat's a success. Are you in the lily pad? No, I just stopped here. Scoping out the island. You're almost to the end of the uh, swimming area and you haven't even gotten up to your hoo-ha yet. Yeah, I'd stop there. I would stop there. Okay, I'm getting blown out to sea. Yeah. <coughs> what? Bye. <coughs> oh, yeah. Um, guys, um, last weekend was Labor Day weekend, and I was horribly sick. Um, I, uh, what? Fuck. Yeah, look at that. Forgot my sunglasses were up there. At least I didn't go in the drink. But, um, <coughs> um, I don't know what it was that was wrong with me. Um, I forced myself to go to work Thursday or Friday. Saturday, I was in bed all day. Sunday, worthless. Um, I was trying to rest up for this trip. But, obviously, as you could hear, residual coughing. Uh, there's going to be sneezing, hacking up, you know, what's left of my lungs. And, uh, whatnot. Also... I haven't been up here in like two years, so I don't know how my allergies are going to affect me. Um, okay, so that disclaimer done. Let's check out this island. Uh, I totally blew past the part I wanted to check out. There's a little uh, rocky sort of ledge there and what looks like a clearing. Uh, there is a structure on this island. However, two years ago uh, when I was here, it was not posted. Um, you know, we'll see when I get in there and check it out. Uh, anyway, I want to get out on the water here. So let me I'm gonna I'm gonna get going guys All right Well, oh people um, You can see where I came from back there guys. Anyway right here this uh, little ledge See if I can sort of steer the craft around um, the First time I landed on this island. It was actually right there and I'm thinking that's a good spot to go have a beer um, and then maybe see, you know, get my first, uh, I don't know, feeling or whatever, inkling of whether or not I can actually camp on this thing. I would love to, guys. I mean, I have a hammock with me. I have minimal camping gear, but enough where I could, I think I could do it. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, is it going to be like stealth camping? You know, I don't really know. I'm no stealth camper. You guys know that. I say that all the time. Um, if this is posted, like I said, it was not posted two years ago. Then, I don't know, I'm seriously going to think about it. Because I, I don't want to trespass or break any laws. However, if it's not posted, might be, might be able to do this. But I'm going to go uh, make try and make land over there. It looks like there's some crude uh like uh monoliths or something it's like the planet of the apes fucking i don't know what let's go check it out All right coming in hot um yeah more of the island yeah I, I think somebody just piled up some rocks there it's probably not you know a, a bad sign uh this is beautiful guys look at this seco lake man alive um yeah see the thing oh uh, yeah oh great look at those people in like motorized wheelchairs on that beach yeah well i don't have to worry about them <laughs> how are they gonna get out here um all right i'm gonna try and make land get up there um, i got the chacos with me because i don't want to walk in this barefoot and uh, break anything at least not yet i appear to be beached and these rocks all right guys i'll see you on land so okay uh craft successfully beached um yeah i said just pulled it up on the rocks um got me a beer this one's just a pbr um i'm gonna save the fancy beers for some more fancy times uh yeah so there's another craft out there Nobody really seems to be coming over to be like, what the fuck is that guy doing on this island? 
I don't really think anyone would. Although this guy, this pontoon boat, Chet Ripley over there. Uh, I don't know. Um, kayak person. Anyway, guys, this this was the spot where I first uh, set foot on this island. I think I called it like Butterfly Island or something. And I don't know what, two years ago. It doesn't matter. If you really want to know, just watch that series. Um, also, speaking of that boat, um, girlfriend's sister, her husband, uh, him and I, we actually zipped through here uh, in his little, uh, his little uh, go fast boat. That was fun. Um, yeah, see, anyway, you, you can see that video too. It's, it's in the archives. I'll probably put a link to that. I think it's called like Paseco Go Fast Boat. I don't know. Uh, but the thing I'm trying to mention is this boat coming around here, there's probably people over there. And I know there's a pretty good spot to camp over on that side of the island. But if there's people at their camps, like, you know, right across the channel, they're going to be seeing me. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, man. Okay, so this, somebody just piled up some rocks. Uh, it's pretty sketchy back here, guys. I don't think I'm going to go too far into here. Although it doesn't look as overgrown as it was the last time. Um, it seems to be like a path or a game trail. That's something I can check out later. Uh, like I said, guys, this is I, we just got here a couple hours ago. First time here. Um, I'm just going to kind of hang out here, guys. Take in the view, smoke a cigarette, drink this PBR just sort of enjoy nature for like a little while enjoy being back in the adirondacks not being at work not being home in the bowels of the suburbs of central new york um having the girlfriend feel good enough to be able to get up here oh uh, man i think this is going to be a pretty good uh misadventure pretty good outlaw camper series i hope you guys stick around for all of it um but before i i end this one uh, cause I, you know, I'm trying to keep these short and I, I'm sure I've shown you guys way too much shit already. Uh, and I want you to come back and watch more. Um, yeah, we'll take a walk around there later. Hey, look, ducks, woodland creatures. Gosh, this is fucking beautiful guys. Man alive. I'm so, I'm so lucky. You know, life's been pretty much shit this whole year, guys, but this right here, right now, makes it all fucking worth it. I uh, haven't mentioned before, I think I did, um, it's 75 degrees right now, guys, and it is, it's 3 o'clock now, uh, 3.05. Um, it's not going to get any warmer, which is nice, but it's supposed to get down to like 40 tonight. Um, I think the forecast says like 45, which means 40. Um, luckily there's no chance of precipitation because if there was, it'd be snow. Oh yeah. Waterproof lighter, which I hang around my neck. I mean, it's a waterproof lighter case, just a beck in here. I learned my lesson uh, about boating, not having a waterproof lighter. Uh, now tomorrow... Might get up to like 80. Um, we'll see. And then tomorrow night, I think maybe 50. So that might be more conducive to trying to camp on the island. Yeah. Beer gets shaken up, guys, but as long as it's cold, who cares? And it's not flat. Mm. I could sleep out here, but I don't know, guys. I don't want to get ahead of myself because so much can happen. Um, anyway, I think the girlfriend and I, we're going to be heading down the road tonight, probably going over the old, uh, Oxbow Inn favorite. You guys seen that many times, but not in a few years. As far as I know, it's open and the food used to be great. I'm sure it's still great. Uh, we didn't really bring much as far as food with us, um, or really anything. Um, we did pick up bunch of four packs of beer uh charlie john's and uh i picked up some can spray cheese to go with my chicken and biscuit crackers and i think i brought like some aldi's jerky some sardines and stuff so 
you know, this was just like, we wanted to get up here and just get out. And how the fuck could you fucking blame us, man? I mean, we got the opportunity. Just looking at this boat. I know. It looks ridiculous, guys. And it is ridiculous. Uh, like I said, it's definitely more boat than I need for this uh, misadventure. Um, maybe, I doubt by the fall, but maybe next year I can get a motor for it. We'll see. Maybe I'll start a, you know, like a contribute to the motor fund for the boat or some stupid shit. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Don't, don't send me fucking money for a boat motor. Not right now. I got enough of you guys uh, contributing to the channel, which is awesome. Um, pretty much guys. I, uh, I kind of dropped the ball on bringing another uh, battery for the camera. It's back at Camp Nancy. And I've got battery packs and chargers, so if I do camp, I should be able to film it. Uh, just looking at the interior here, pretty overgrown, but I'll tell you one nice thing, no bugs, at least not right now. Uh, I do have thermocells though too. So anyway, guys, Thank you seriously for coming back to Outlaw Camp, coming back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me here at Pasico Lake under the shadow of uh, Panther Mountain. This is Higgins Bay. Uh, there's a lot of lake that way. There's a lot of lake the other way. I got a feeling this is going to be a long series, so please stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a lot to see. Um, I really appreciate all of you joining me more than you'll ever know. And I mean, I always say your patience is what keeps me motivated. And I want to just thank you for waiting, um, being able to wait and sticking around so something pretty epic like this can happen. So here's to all you guys. Thank you very much. I'm going to end this episode um, and hopefully save enough battery for to make it back to shore. We'll see. You guys will see in the next episode. So stay tuned, guys. And, you know, until I get back to you, and God knows when that'll be, um, tell your friends, tell your enemies. It's outlaw camp. There is cold beer. There's no extradition. It's patriots are always welcome. Mm. Thank you, guys. See you in the continuation of this ridiculous outlaw camper misadventure.